Okay, hiking up uh, Allen Mountain today. Could be about an 18 to 20 mile hike, depending on which way I come back. So it's a good long hike. Uh, lots of trail walking. So uh, same trailhead I was at a couple weeks ago. Uh, took me about two hours to get here. I uh, woke up at 3.30. Got here about 6. Not bad, still a few uh, parking spots left. Just pretty good on a super nice weekend like this. So uh, I'm going to skip the first part of the trail because I just filmed this in my Mount Adams video two weeks ago. And I'll catch up a little further down the trail. Uh, just for some reference, uh, my last hike uh, this way to Mount Adams was uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, just for reference. How the uh, Hudson River is here now, as compared to then, after a couple really good rainstorms, I have to compare this. This is not a preview of what most of the trail is going to be like. But well, it is what it is. wet feet time going on. Got expected on this trail. Okay, after uh, uh, maybe half a mile, three quarters of a mile of mud and muck, I finally come up to some uh, dry trail. It's really nice. So, hopefully this lasts a little bit. Little swampy area here, um, might float over the trail again a little bit. Doesn't look too bad though. Uh, it is not too bad, I don't know how, but looks like the uh, swamp's all dammed up right there. That's a relief. All right, this is the river we need to cross here pretty soon. Hopefully where the crossing is is as mellow as this find out we get wet either way way to cross a little bit of it right over there Used to be a bridge here, went from that rock up to that rock like a few years ago. Like spring uh thaw or storm, some weather event. Flood this whole area, washed the bridge out, giant two foot thick slabs of ice on top of each of these rocks. Crazy. Hard to believe. Alright, gonna do a little rock hopping here. How far I can get across this? Maybe all the way right down here. I get lucky. Yeah, that's a little 
a little risky right there. <laughs> I think. I'm going to try to cross right there. I'm going to slip on here and I'm rock. I'm going to go first one. Go back up here and just take my shoes off and wait across. I got our old bridge crossing. I'm going to cross right here. Get up to here, take my shoes off. There's no shallow place to cross here. I think I'm going to go straight across there and right up that bank right there. Looks like it's not not quite as rocky that way or fast. I don't know. I'll watch you go first. We'll find out. <laughs> if I go for a swim, don't go that way. <laughs> oh yeah, let me get wet. <laughs> Not bad. Watch out for the slippery rocks. <laughs> that one are <that> slippery. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's part of the adventure. Yeah, I don't want to stay in here too long. <laughs> start, whew, start feeling it after a minute. <laughs> The bottom half of my shorts wet, but not too bad. A little seat here, grab a snack, something to drink. Uh, river crossing is about four and a half miles in. Two hours right now. Break, drop my feet, and get going again. Glad that was not as cold as I thought, although still very cold. Alrighty, trail junction here. We are gonna go this way. That way leads to Allen Mountain. The way back. Instead of return the same way. Might as long as I'm feeling it, which I'm feeling pretty good right now. Come up this way and head up to uh Hanging Spear Falls. I'll add an extra three miles to the whole round trip, but That'll be alright the way I'm feeling right now. There's a sign here for Mount Marcy. Yeah. Keep heading up to Allen Mountain. Grab letter here. It used to be a trail register here. Gone now, but it's kind of a mid hike trail register. Good stream crossing, something like the uh, Appalachian River, though. Well, 
bowling pin right there. This is the trail. It's a little bit wet. here pretty fresh
that's like left there. And we're starting to get some views here. Getting close to the top. Still a ways to go though. A little ways. Pretty steep, steep slab here to go up. Let's see how the footing is here. Steep, wet, almost at the top there. I can see where it starts to get a little better up there. A little slick, so I'm going to turn this camera off. Got 10 feet of a uh, flat trail right there. So that's looking promising and this part here isn't too steep. So I know I'm uh, really close to the summit here. Uh, take a break up here, good little rest before I head back down. Beautiful day out. If you're gonna do this trail, you better love mud. And love kind of climbing up steep slabs of rock that are wet and muddy. Oh, psych. We're not done yet. A little more to go here. This little slab, and that should be it. Of course, heard me say that just a minute ago, so <clears throat> we'll find out. Here we are, Summit Island Mountain. Made it. Six and a half hours, uh, 11 miles by my Fitbit. According to all trails, it's uh, nine miles, so. View of some a lot of the other mountains here. Got that Dix Range over there and up the top mountain. Giant way back there. Uh, <clears throat> Basin Saddleback. No Great Range Mountains. Haystack. Back there is Marcy. Skylight's right in front of it. All right, yeah, this is a good bit of work getting up here on this one. A little more than what I remember. So, grab another peanut butter jelly sandwich, some drink, rest for a little while, get off my feet, and then uh, head back down. And uh, next stop, we'll be back at our trail junction, see if I'm still going to go for the uh, Hanging Spear Falls or not. Still feeling great though, so I probably will. Awesome day, hate to, hate to waste it. Almost seven hours now, I got up here, took about a half hour break. Not doing bad. Rested up, it's uh, almost colder after one. In the afternoon, so. See uh, how long it takes me to get down to the trail split down there and make a judgment call from there, which way I go, but. Feeling pretty good, so I might uh, do the extended loop I planned out. Okay, I lied. One more look out for a head all the way down. This is right before the summit. 
this is an awesome view right over here really opens up okay just over an hour to get back down to this waterfall it's gonna probably almost twice have to get up there for the summit but down here uh, for a quick drink doing pretty good so just over 10 hours into the hike on my way back I decided not to do the Hanging Spear Falls detour that's just gonna take too long and I want to get home before midnight so I'll come and do it another time back to the bridge that's a good sign yeah, for us, just a little 100 yards of trail, and we're done. It's been a long day. And we're finished. All right, 7.37 finish. Allen Mountain about 20 miles I'll get the info off my phone later but uh yeah long long day